Sofia Vergara and Joe have divorced after seven years of marriage. On July 17, the couple said in a joint statement provided to Page Six that they recently made the difficult decision to divorce after seven years of marriage. The pair didn't give any deep insight into the reason for their split. However, it was Joe that initially filed for divorce two days later on July 19. Represented by high-profile divorce lawyer Laura Wasser, Joe filed the doc citing irreconcilable differences. And according to TMZ, the papers indicated that the divorce process would be fairly straightforward thanks to the couple's prenuptial agreement. According to People, the 51-year-old Sophia asked the court on July 26 to uphold the terms of agreement they signed and to confirm that certain assets should remain hers, including jewelry, artwork, and other personal effects. Their prenup will reportedly protect the assets they both accumulated, notably Sophia's fortune, which is reported to equate to 180 million US dollars, significantly higher than Joe's worth of 40 million US dollars. The documents also state that the couple's shared assets and debts will be divided based on the terms of their prenup, noting that Joe has separate property including miscellaneous jewelry and other personal effects, as well as earnings from before, during, and after the marriage. Us Weekly reported that the exes still have few issues to figure out in court, namely the custody of their dog, Bubbles. Right now, the divorce filings don't indicate who will take ownership of the pet. Although both Sophia and Joe have previously made it clear that Bubbles is primarily taken care of by Joe, there's been a lot of speculation surrounding the cause of the split, with insiders suggesting one of the main reasons that Joe filed for divorce was because he hoped to have children, while Sophia did not. These reports are unconfirmed, and last week, a source told people that there is no drama between the exes. Though they tried to put others' interests ahead of their own, a source tells people that their differences were too significant to keep their marriage going. Sofia Vergara and Joe Manganello's differences in personalities contributed to the rift in their marriage. A source tells people that the former couple had different ways in dealing with fame as well as personal interests. Following the news of the estranged couple's divorce, another source close to Manganello told people that he and Vergara were always very different at their roots. Their physical attraction to each other only carried their marriage that far. The insider explained, On a day-to-day -day basis, there are so many other things that need to work. There were several things that didn't work. Vergara and Manganello also were often bickering about the small things, as they were both very stubborn, the source said. This led to a very negative energy around the couple, which surrounded the past few months of their relationship. They were really trying to make it work though, the source said. They do love each other. No one wants to constantly bicker with their spouse though. Joe has absolutely nothing bad to say about her. She is a great woman. They were just not great together in the long run. Split Announcement The couple announced their separation after seven years of marriage in a joint statement shared with Page Six. We have made a difficult decision to divorce, it read. As two people that love and care for one another very much, we politely ask for respect for our privacy at this time as we navigate this new phase of our lives. A source previously told people that the former couple had different ways in dealing with fame as well as personal interests. Despite their shared mutual love and respect, the source says the modern family star and the true blood alum differ immensely in style and what they like to do. Although during the marriage, each tried to put the other's interests ahead of their own to make it work. A source told people at the time that the couple had been going through ups and downs for a long time, though they always put on a good front publicly. The news of their separation came shortly after the modern family actress was spotted, celebrating her 51st birthday with friends in Italy. Vergara was seen without Manganello or her wedding ring on her finger. Although the True Blood star wasn't present for the festivities, he shared a birthday tribute celebrating his estranged wife on Instagram. Feliz cumpleaños, Sofia! He wrote alongside a photo of her former couple celebrating one of Vergara's previous birthdays. Manganello last posted photos and videos of the couple together on Instagram on June 8 as they enjoyed an absolutely mind-blowing fine dining experience at Blue Hill at Stone Barts. 
a two Michelin star restaurant nestled in Tarrytown, New York. The two were last photographed at a red carpet event at the Vanity Fair Oscar party in March 2023. Vergara and Manganello married in Palm Beach, Florida in November 2015. When the duo celebrated their seventh anniversary in 2022, the Emmy winning actress shared a series of throwback photos of the couple on their wedding day, including a shot of the two exchanging their vows and dancing at their reception. At the time, she captioned the post with a simple love you with a series of red heart emojis. In August 2020, Manganello told People that he felt that he made the right call when deciding to spend forever with Vergara. Joe Manganello gushed about trust he had with Sofia Vergara three years before divorce news. You don't let go of it. Three summers ago, Joe Manganello couldn't help but gush about why he decided to marry Sofia Vergara. Years before the couple announced their decision to divorce following seven years of marriage, Manganello, 46, opened up to people about why he and Vergara, 51, clicked. I knew pretty quickly that I could trust her, and she knew pretty quickly that she could trust me, Manganello said in 2020. And we're both the kind of people who are capable of putting the other person ahead of ourselves. I was capable of putting her wishes ahead of mine, whatever they were, and she was capable of doing the same. Once you have that, you don't let go of it. The actor met the Modern Family star via her co-star Jesse Tyler Ferguson at the White House Correspondents Association dinner in 2014, which Manganello attended as a guest of People's then editor-in-chief Jess Cagle. Vergara had been engaged to Nick Loeb at the time, but called off her engagement weeks after the event, prompting Manganello to ask Ferguson, 47, for the actress's number. My instincts about her were right, Manganello said. The True Blood alum flew to New Orleans where Vergara had been filming Hot Pursuit to take her on their first date. I said I'm coming to New Orleans. If you're not available, I'm just gonna do some sightseeing. But I'm gonna be there and if you're free, I can take you out. Manganello said on the Jess Cagle show in 2020. She said, you're crazy. I said, I'll see you next week. Manganello proposed to Vergara in December 2014 and they tied a knot the following November. The Magic Mike star spent the early months of the pandemic introducing Vergara to TV shows she hadn't watched. Sophie had never seen Mad Men, which I saw every episode of and was obsessed with. So we went through all the Mad Men, Manganello said to people. Then she had never seen The Sopranos and I was like, that's the greatest show that's ever been made that kicked off of all the great cable shows. It paved the way. You have to see these. So I watched The Sopranos again. She thought it was brilliant. In June, Manganello and Vergara put their 7-bedroom, 11-bathroom, Beverly Hills home on the market for a second time in less than a year with an asking price of $18 million. Vergara embarked on a trip to Italy with friends to celebrate her 51st birthday. Based on Vergara's Instagram post from the vacation, Manganello did not attend with her, but posted Feliz Compliano Sofia on July 10 for her birthday. Sources confirmed to people that the pair were planning to divorce. The couple also confirmed the news in a joint statement to Page Six. The announcement came just days after Vergara seemingly hinted at relationship trouble on Instagram. When life gives you lemons, you come to Italy to squeeze them. She wrote beside a photo of herself on her Italian getaway. In 2020, Sofia was named Forbes' highest paid actress in Hollywood, largely thanks to her earnings from ABC's Modern Family for which she was paid $500,000 per episode at its peak. The outlet also cited her role as a judge on America's Got Talent, which earns her at least $10 million each season on top of a series of endorsement and licensing deals. A source said that while Sophia is sad that her marriage didn't work out, she feels very fortunate anyway, adding that she has a great life that she loves. She is staying at her house for now. Joe is living elsewhere, the insider said.